Santosh Master Surbi. She is a mother of two teenagers. She's a YouTuber, a Udemy instructor, a blogger, records podcasts, and is a, is a certified, uh, certified instructor of IELTS. She has a long list of achievements, but you know, our time will fall short for that. But understand, we have a gem in those masters. She has helped thousands to hone their communication skills. She says she loves what she does and she does what she loves. Today, Toastmasters will be, will be delivering her level five project one of persuasive influence pathway. Her project is to reflect over the entire journey of a pathway. And timer, please note that the time limits are 10 to 12 minutes. And I now invite Toastmasters to be on the virtual podium. Look or look backward, live forward. Toastmasters should be. Toastmasters should be. Look backward, live forward. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Simon. That was a wonderful introduction. And it feels really good to be in Toastmasters because you hear so many good things about you. <laughs> because you can only write good things about yourself, right? Okay, coming to my project. Reflect pathways. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. So today, as I move forward in my Toastmasters journey and complete my pathways, I look backward and I just share today what I understood with my entire pathway. So in 2020, when the pandemic hit the nation and we all were confined to our laptop screens, I joined a Facebook private community where some people, they were all already pursuing postmasters. So that is when they told about the advantages. I, that is how I introduced, I was introduced to the idea of Toastmasters. So I started finding a club in my hometown. The, the only purpose of finding a club in my hometown was okay, after the pandemic, when things get normal, I would be able to attend offline meetings. Then I came across the Lucknow Toastmasters Club. And then I happened to attend certain meetings, quite a few meetings, as a guest, too shy to turn on my camera. And when it came to participate in private topics, I think that was nerve wracking. I was unable to speak a word. And I just quit the meeting as soon as the table topic started, <laughs> right? But uh, somehow I became the official member of Toastmasters Club on 15th of January. And my mentor, then mentor, Toastmaster Rachna, she asked me to exercise the power of observation. And she said, instead of going for speeches right away, you just start taking several roles in successive meetings. I took quite a few roles, starting from David Topic Master to our counter to evaluator to general evaluator and so on. It was an amazing experience though, but it made me realize that being an educator and a trainer for past six years is far different than being a speaker. It involves a lot of metal to observe, to express yourself in front of people in an organized way. Persuasive influence. This was the pathway I chose. Or maybe I was just fascinated with the way it sounded. Because I had the foggiest of idea what pathways meant. Everything which the Toastmaster portal had to offer, this was something which my ears were attracted to. So I just chose that. It was only when I pursued, I started pursuing the pathway, I realized the fluidity of the system and how the pathways, when you put them in your life, in your development, in your profession, it makes a difference. And that is how it is meant to be. So with this, I stand here to share my journey, my learnings from Pathways, Persuasive Influence over the period of 135 days. The journey began with level one, with the icebreaker speech. With all the jitters, I was standing and giving my icebreaker speech and it made me realize where I stand as a public speaker. The second speech made me understand the power 
an important significance of feedback. While I was still in level one, something very interesting happened. I received a call from Toastmaster Saurav. And he said, ma'am, I want you to put your name in the list of participants of international speech contest. I said, what are you talking about? Are you serious? I'm still so naive and you want me to participate straight away in the international speech competition. He said, trust me, there's nothing to lose, but you will have ample amount of experience. I said, okay, and I just put my name in international speech competition. And as it is, I knew I, I was going to reach nowhere. So to my amazement, I won the club level competition, which was on 21st of March. And then the, just carefree, in a carefree mode, I went for a vacation on, uh, I was still on the bumpy roads of Rishikesh when I received another alarming call from Toastmaster Saurav. And he said, ma'am, now you have, because you have qualified for area level, very calmly, you have to deliver seven more speeches within the span of 12 days. <laughs> I said, are you nuts? I am not going for an international speech competition. I'm sorry. He said, don't worry, we'll manage. Okay, fine. I came back from Rishikesh and we started working on that. Sometimes it only takes one person to take, change your life. Only one person to push you, to believe in you. It only takes one. In my case, I had two. Toastmaster Saurav and my now mentor, Toastmaster Devaj. These were two people who believed in me more than myself. So it was a roller coaster, right? Which was made even more exciting by Corona hitting me at the same time. But the isolation period turned out to be a blessing in disguise for me because I had all the time in the world to work on my speeches and deliver them. So 11th April, 11th April, it was area level competition and I happened to win that too. So I was ready to appear for the division level competition. Now, this division level competition happened on the day the doctor gave me the clean chip. I was tested corona negative. I happened to be the second, uh, first runner up in this competition. Although I wasn't able to move forward, but completing two levels in the period of just two months and delivering seven speeches in different clubs apart from my home club. It made me understand the Parkinson's law. It says work expands so as to full, fill the time available for its completion. So it's all about getting more done in less time. So with this level two completed, I stepped in level three. Now, by now, Postmasters was on my brain. It was like a game for me, which I was enjoying performing in different clubs, getting in contact with different people around the nation and around the world. So I delivered speeches in multiple clubs. Chinnai Toastmasters, Infinity Toastmasters, Dwarka Toastmasters, Delhi Sukti Toastmasters, Indranagar Toastmasters, and Singapore and Philippine Toastmasters, and, and, and a few more. So I remember sharing a story, uh, which was my level three uh, project, elective projects connecting with storytelling at Indra Nagar Toastmasters Club at Sunday afternoon, where I shared a story which was about my multiple miscarriages and complicated pregnancy. While I was sharing the story, I could see tears in one or two members' eyes. And then it was, uh, the first project of level three, which was uh, delivering a speech on conflict resolution. Now, I had never resolved a conflict in my life. Even when it comes to my daughters, I'm not able to resolve the conflict. <laughs> but I happened to develop my own personal strategy, which I named it as boss technique. And since then, I'm using it and it works. Right? So, level three of Toastmasters. Pathway Persuasive Influence helped me not only to share my vulnerability with the people, 
but it also helped me realize understand my own strengths so on may 1st i completed my level 3 and you will be surprised to know that on may 2nd i completed my level 4 also so it was a quick jumping 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 steps right level 4 project 1 was leading in difficult situations it was a hard nut to crack because a lot of research and planning was required although i had managed and organized certain events quite a few events but penning them down and presenting the plan the budget the advertising the policy and everything and preparing a ppt and presenting it to the members was a challenge but the way it worked out was a pat on my back i was able to i was able to attend to those disruption questions to my utmost satisfaction i wasn't able to believe that it was me who did it but it went out well and i was all set to set my foot in level 5 sixth may 2021 i delivered my l5 p2 which is prepared to speak professionally in tcs math 3 champions toast masters club now this was a 20 minute speech where i not only presented my purpose of life but i helped the others the other members to realize their purpose in life so this was a major boost to my confidence where i not only spoke but i also impacted and influenced people now level 5 p1 hpl as we call it high performance leadership project the master stroke of toast masters pathway this was a plethora of learnings and experience where my three saviors toast master sora toast master devansh and toast master asankhya they hand holded me in the entire journey the project guide to glide which initiated as a small idea took a grand shape and ended in a gala event on 30th may it involved a series of conversations meetings plannings discussions with the senior and seasoned and amiable members who helped me move forward so i know it would have been possible without them and i understood that some will some won't so what someone is always there waiting for you to ask for help so the journey of toast masters which started on 15th january 2021 completed its first milestone on 30th may 2021 but do you think the completion of pathways is the only thing which matters in this journey of one and a, uh, four and a half months i developed multiple skills one of which is, which is critical thinking skills every time you craft a speech you put your thinking hats on you not only run but you make run but you feed those horses of imagination you need to go back and dig out stories from your life from the events which happened in your life each and every thing you craft is a master speech masterpiece don't you think so it gives you a new lens to look towards life next is creative writing skills how many of you feel like jabe dr or maybe gulzar sahab when you sit to write speech for those masters i feel so and it's such a pleasure to see that pen glide on the sheets which was never put to use earlier the next is public speaking skills yes one of the major skills which those master clubs promises is enhancement of your public speaking skills but is it only content body language vocal variety trust me it is beyond that it is much more than that because it transforms you into a new person altogether evaluations help you to develop your observation and listening skills the tag roles develop your analytical skills and the table topics everyone's favorite 
make you come out of that public speaking drama which you had been facing your entire life. And last but not the least, building relationships. Over this period of four and a half months, Toastmasters, Lucknow Toastmasters has become an extended family for me. The people are not only just a phone call away, in fact, they're just a WhatsApp message away. It happened just last week when my daughter was stuck in MUN. Now, I wasn't aware of MUN. But no sooner I had put the message on the group, I was able to connect with the people in each it. Toastmaster Saurabh, Toastmaster Ray, Toastmaster Manjula, they helped me out of the way. So it is not only about the Toastmaster issues, you can reach out to them. They are ready, they are standing to help you for anything and everything. So today I take a moment to express my gratitude to each and every member of the club, the Lucknow Toastmasters Club, my home club, and all the clubs which I participated in, because you have helped me come this long. You have helped me evolve. You have helped me grow in my life. Thank you. Thank you for all of you for being there. Thank you so much. Love you all.